You're on tune to Nice Up TV. Bless up yourself. Out here, our reggae online. <laughs> And I'm here with a very, very special guest all the way from California and Hawaii via the only one, Jay Boog. What's going on, Rilla? Yeah, man. So this is your second time in New Zealand, third, second time. How are you finding it this time here at Ragamuffin 2011? Um, it's, a gr it's great to be over here at Ragamuffin. This is our first time doing a Ragamuffin festival. And um, it's a pleasure and honor to be down here in Aotearoa. We had a long flight. We just got in today. And now uh, we had a three hour drive from Auckland down to Rotoro, so it's cool, man. The vibes is real nice. Sweet Nari just got off stage. Catch a fire is about to go on. Everything is big. You see it. <laughs> okay, so All right. tell us a bit more about where you're from and um, your upbringing a little bit too. I'm originally from Campton, California. I am Samoan. I'm a, from a family of uh, is, uh, nine of us. We got eight brothers, including me and uh, one sister. We're all from Campton, California. When uh, we busted out of Hawaii, we did music uh, with uh, Brother Feed. Um, that man needs no introduction, so I mean, everybody knows Brother Feed, and we actually did an album with him called Henry Roar. Everything went real good, and um, just man, give thanks for having us over here, yeah? So, yeah, tell us a little bit about, uh, about your album, and um, you know, what brought it together, and who are some of the artists on it, and collabs, and stuff like that. The new album that we, we have right now is called Backyard Boogie. We have a whole lot of collaborations on there. We've done production and recordings in down to Jamaica, down to New York, down to San Francisco, LA, and, and, and even Hawaii, you know? And um, some of the artists that we have on there are, uh, of course, Brother Fees. We got uh, uh, P Peter Morgan. Uh, we got uh, Million Styles on there. Jacob Hemphill from Soldier from Washington, D.C. We got production by Gramps, Don Corleone. Tough Gong Studios and the Wash House, of course, and yeah, it's just a whole, whole ball of everything. <laughs> so Morgan Heritage has been my idols, Gramps and Pete, for a long time. How did you link with those cats? We actually linked to them through uh, Sister Iri Love from Kailo. She's my wife, raised girl, and um, she was on tour with them. And then uh, Pro Bowl one year, we all met up together, and pretty much we got introduced to them. To, to I Will Love, then the feeds, and then to the company, and then we used the link a couple of years later, and then uh, that's when we went to Jamaica and, and pretty much started recording on the new album and everything, you know. So from your first album and coming up to your second album, what is the difference in the sound? You think? Um, it's pretty much it wasn't only one one producer, you know. Um, we we of course Don Collier, we reached out and uh to to different producers. We got links from Gramps. We got links from Myri Love and hooked everything up. Now we got a production from uh, France as well. Uh, some of our brothers, Special Delivery, JP and Pierre, big up. TNT Band, big up. And um, Boston Bim. Yeah, they've done uh, some um, production on the album as well. And it's just sounding mad. Everything is kind of coping to, to some of the real traditional reggae and pretty much just throwing a little island swag in it. <laughs> so yeah, um, a little bit about where you're going. Where are you going next? I understand you've got a Perth tour. Have you got anything else after that? Yeah, after that we're going to um, go to Vegas for the Rugby Sevens. We're going to be down there and then we're going to shoot down to Orlando and pretty much do all of the East Coast and the West Coast, the US tour, so yeah. So um, you've been over to Europe before? Yeah. How, how is um, the reggae, you know, Islander reggae perceived over there or is, how's it accepted over there? The, the, the island reggae is, is, is not really out there like that, you know? 
But as far as the reggae culture and the reggae sound and dance hall, the dance is the dance is huge. You know everything. The reggae culture is huge out there, and it's all it's all uh, it's all people from Germany, from Scandinavia, from everywhere from Europe. You know you, you wouldn't even you wouldn't even expect it because they don't even really speak English, but they speak patois. You know, and and they they learn they learn it from the reggae music. You know what I'm saying? And they don't speak a lick of English after that. They, 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 it's crazy. It's lovely out there. The vibes was really nice. And big up the JP for making it happen for a special delivery in the building. Yeah. So tell the people out there where they can find you online, Facebook, and um, the rest of it. Um, you can actually find all of our links on jbookmusic.com, or you can go on washhousetv.net. They have our Facebook links, our Twitter links, Instagram if you want to Instagram. Um, just everything, uh, booking information, albums, um, yeah, I got links for our albums, links for our videos on YouTube, which is Wash House TV if you want to subscribe, and uh, we do have a whole lot of videos coming out this year, yeah. Cool, so any last words for any aspiring artists um, that want to come up in the game um, and be like yourself? Uh, just make sure that you're doing it for the right reason, you know what I'm saying? Make sure you love, genuinely love the music and then and love what you're doing because if you don't then you're just wasting your time and it's 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 a life that you choose you know it's a mission it's not it's not a it's not the hip-hop world you know it's not uh r&b world it's a totally different section of it you know it's all it is musical mission bless up brother awesome, you've been watching nice up tv rewind and come again